Vision residents. Just when we thought the Super Bowl weekend couldn't get any more exciting, you surprised us with a brand new MCU spin-off series. Disney Plus, we can't wait to find out what you have in store for us, and Wanda and Vision too, of course. It looks like the Marvel power couple will be welcoming twins into the world, and we can't wait to see how things play out on the small screen. This is so amazing and nuts and cool. The upcoming spin-off series, WandaVision, is setting up the MCU's future timeline in more ways than one. Tons of new faces will appear on top of a slew of familiar ones. Three new members could be introduced into the MCU, two of those being Wanda and Vision's twins. Keep watching to find out who the third member is. Here's a clue, he's a member of the Young Avengers. Elizabeth Olsen and Paul Bettany are back as Wanda Maximoff and Vision, respectively, but this time they'll be entertaining fans of the MCU via Disney+. Although little is known about the spin-off series WandaVision, some major hints have been dropped in the teaser trailer. Fans are quick to point out that Wanda seemed to be pregnant with twins. It looks like Wanda and Vision are finally getting the happily ever after they always dreamed of, which is strange since Vision was destroyed by Thanos in Avengers Infinity War. I understand, my child. You could never. But even then, things aren't always what they seem. For starters, the timeline of the show seems to be on the fritz. The teaser jumped from era to era, showing Wanda and Vision in some very questionable outfits. The most notable one being Wanda's original Scarlet Witch costume, which many fans remember from the comics. This could be a hint that the series will cover how Wanda came to be the Scarlet Witch. The show's timeline is bound to jump from the past to the present to the future, which could result in viewers watching Wanda and Vision's twins go from babies to teenagers. Majors. For two years, we stolen these moments. It's been confirmed that actors Kat Dennings and Randall Park are reprising their roles as Darcy Lewis and Jimmy Woo, whereas actor Tayona Paris is set to play Monica Rambo. Katherine Hahn has also joined the production, but her character has yet to be released. Little else is known about the cast, but new information is bound to follow. In the meantime, let's find out which comic book series WandaVision is said to be based on. We gotta do a deep dive into some comic books that we haven't yet referenced. News of the spin-off series made headlines when Avengers Endgame first premiered in Los Angeles in 2019. It was here that Elizabeth Olsen revealed while speaking with Variety that Disney would use dozens of comic books as inspiration for the series. WandaVision will take place in the 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s, allowing it to cover plenty of ground. The Scarlet Witch first appeared in the X-Men No. 4 comic book in 1964 and the mutant hero would go on to entertain readers for over 50 years. But you will tear them apart. The same can be said about Vision, who made his comic book debut in Avengers No. 57 back in 1968. But it's more than likely that Disney will take a page or two out of the Young Avengers comic book series, seeing as a pregnant Wanda was showcased in the teaser. Fans of the MCU are well aware that Wanda and Vision go on to have a set of twin boys after briefly retiring from the Avengers and setting up shop in the suburbs. But wait, how did a mutant and an android manage to procreate? Well, that's where things get complicated. and slightly morose. I'm beginning to think we should have stayed in bed. The Scarlet Witch and Vision broke the mold when they fell in love and eventually tied the knot in the 70s. They retreated from their hero duties in the 80s, which is when Wanda's dubious pregnancy was first announced. But since her husband couldn't possibly pass down any of his DNA, the pregnancy was a call for concern. As it turned out, Wanda had unknowingly used her altering powers to generate her own pregnancy. But this would only be revealed after the twins were born. Everything was going great until Wanda and Vision chose to return to the Avengers. I know you believe what you're doing is right. That's when a nanny was brought in to watch over the twins. However, the second Wanda focused on her mission, the twins would vanish into thin air. It was almost as if the twins stopped existing the second their mother wasn't around. And as it turns out, this was very much the case. The final consensus was that Wanda had created the twins by altering reality, and once she discovered this, the twins vanished for good. At least for a little while. But before we reveal how Wanda's make-believe children managed to become real-life people, let's find out whether or not these future Young Avengers will become main characters in the series. Okay. Now let's worry about how you get there. The Super Bowl Marvel teaser had fans of the MCU scratching their heads. Some believe that WandaVision will follow a linear timeline instead of jumping between the past, present, and future. In the teaser, it looks as though Wanda and Vision are experiencing a time-lapse of some sort. Wanda is greeted by Vision, who says, 
Wanda, welcome home. In a scene that looks fresh out of the I Love Lucy sitcom. But things get heated when timelines jump like loose wires and Wanda is shown answering a telephone on the TV. So some fans believe that the segments shown in the teaser hint toward our heroes living through an alternate reality opposed to a time-shifting plotline. But other fans aren't as convinced. Instead, they stand firm in believing that WandaVision will lay the foundation for the live-action version of The Young Avengers. That is a horrible story. Come on, that's your favorite story. According to Nerdis, the introduction of twins Thomas and William will not be a short-lived storyline or Easter egg, but rather a way of introducing a brand new slew of superheroes into the MCU, and we can't help but agree. After all, Disney did clearly state that the MCU would be expanding. Something old, something new, something borrowed. And introducing fresh storylines and characters will help writers create new Marvel movies, which has also been the goal for Disney. WandaVision is all set to introduce Wanda's mysterious babies, but seeing as William and Thomas don't actually exist, this could be a hard thing to do. It's my fault. It would appear that Wanda is going through life-altering events in the trailer, which could be the result of finding out that her twins were just a figment of her powerful imagination. In the comics, Wanda goes into a catatonic state after finding out the truth about her children. But as it turns out, Wanda's twins weren't 100% fictional, as their minds did indeed exist. Our very strength invites challenge. Challenge incites conflict. It's said that Wanda gave William and Thomas life by using two scattered fragments of Mephisto's soul, whose essence has been shattered by Franklin Richards. However, when Mephisto returned to life, the twin souls were reabsorbed back into the villain, destroying him from the inside out. Then their souls reincarnated into the bodies of two American kids, Thomas Shepard and William Kaplan. That's not what everyone else sees. The problem with this storyline, however, is that readers never did find out if Thomas and William's souls were placed into pre-existing bodies, or whether they went back in time to be born into their rightful bodies and raised by different parents. Either way, thanks to Mephisto's demise, Tommy Shepard and Billy Kaplan were given physical form, and each long-lost twin was given a set of powerful mutant powers, which they inherited from their mother. I can't control their fear. Only my own. WandaVision could very well be setting up the future of the MCU by providing fans with the origin stories of the Young Avengers. So instead of following Tommy and Billy into adulthood, the show might reveal how these future Avengers came to be while doing the same for other members of the team. Or we could be introduced to the estranged twins as they find out about their true heritage and learn to harness their powers. According to the comics, both Tommy and Billy grew up in the New York, New Jersey area. But like most mutants, things start to get complicated for the twins when they reach adolescence. But there is grace in their failings. I think you missed that. Thomas Shepard, who eventually becomes the superhero Speed, is the only child of a divorced couple. Just like his uncle Pietro, aka Quicksilver, Tommy's powers revolve around super speed. Wanda's son even looks like a carbon body of her late brother, silver hair and all. Then there's Billy, whose own powers don't kick in until he randomly bumps into his mother, Wanda. Funny enough, Wanda and Billy don't have the slightest clue that they're related at the time. In the comics, Billy gets beat up by bullies after school and he wanders past the Avengers mansion where he passes out and is later discovered by the Scarlet Witch. What is it? Stay here, please. Wanda consoles him by touching his head, unknowingly activating his repressed mutant powers. But instead of taking after his mom's twin brother, like Tommy, Billy develops the same powers as Wanda herself. Soon after, Billy finds out the truth about his heritage and locates his twin brother. He becomes the superhero Wiccan, and together they become the backbone of the Young Avengers. This is not so bad. We know for a fact that Thomas and William will make an appearance in WandaVision. After all, we do see a pregnant Wanda, followed by Wanda and Vision standing over two identical cribs. We even see the babies throw their pacifiers up into the air. If the show does follow Tommy and Billy into their teenage years, there's a chance that we will also encounter the young Avenger, Hulking. Hulking is Wiccan's boyfriend in the comics, so anything is possible. Oh, and apparently he's brought a guest. Kevin, who has been the president of Marvel Studios since 2007, has confirmed that Marvel is planting seeds for the Young Avengers team, and releasing WandaVision could be their way of hinting at what's to come. Now that the Avengers appear to have disbanded after the events of Avengers Endgame, Then again, that's the hero gig. 
And part of the journey is the end. Marvel could be working towards filling that spot with a new band of superheroes. The Young Avengers will undoubtedly join the Marvel Cinematic Universe in the near future, and tons of new faces could light up the big screen. Of course, we know that Wiccan, Speed, and Hulking will join the roster of heroes. But what about members like Kate Bishop, Cassie Lang, Miss Marvel, and Miss America? Nothing is clear at the moment, but we do know that a new era of Marvel heroes could very well become a reality. I think we're finally getting to tell those stories. But WandaVision isn't the only Marvel spin-off that was announced during the 2020 Super Bowl. The Falcon and Winter Soldier and Loki were also confirmed during the teaser trailer. While much of these projects are being kept under wraps, one thing is for sure, Marvel has a very bright future. Before you go, tell us which Marvel spin-off you're most excited about in the comments section below. And thanks for watching! Give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to The Things. We'll catch you next time!